People, today we are creating a bucket server for Minecraft 1.3.2. So, the first thing you will need is first, yeah, create a new map on your desktop or somewhere you want and just call it whatever you like. I just call it bucket 1.3.2. open map but don't place anything in it yet go to dl.pocket.org you will see a page like this maybe they change that but it is like this you can download the recommend version but there are also alternative versions it's beta build it's for 1.3.2 this is for 1.3.1 but it will still work for 1.3.2 so we are going ahead and download the beta build because it has lots of fixes so I recommend it then just wait when the download when if the download is ready this is a tutorial is for windows so your mac users don't have anything worthy with this so let's create a new text file and call it star. I am copying an old code. I will place it in the description. So this is just the code you will need. Doesn't matter actually. This is the only code you will need. But I just copy it all. This will be in the description for you to copy to. Here you can set a RAM service using. It's now when you have this number 1024. It will run at 1 gigabyte of RAM. It can be more. You can also just put this away but I don't recommend that and here you put jar file make sure dot jar is behind it so I will call, call this craft bucket and that should work so when you do now is file save as all star dot b a t Bat. And now it will create a Windows Beach file or MS DOS file, what you want to call it. And actually, now you can run it for the first time. But it isn't public yet, no one can see it, only you and localhost. So let's first start this. If it works, you will see this. now prepare the spawn area the world and it will create all the files needed options for the admins you can enter all the comments plugins as you can download them at bucket.org if you would like uh, like a roleplay server you can go here get plugins search for roleplay or here roleplay and you will get all kinds of plugins so let's choose some choose a choose a plugin mm, for text pack so commander we have all kinds of things here Chat related, it will change chat and things. Fun, yeah. you know, some very nice plugin. I save like that. I use it too. So uh, let's take this for example. It 
done when you want to stop it type stop now it's saving all the faults just wait for a minute this won't load so when you download a plugin you will get a .jar file you just place that here and everything will be alright if the plugin is updated so now your server is created in this map we need to port forward it and if you would like you can here find all the settings difficulty peaceful zero one is easy two is normal three is hard so i will keep it on one game mode zero is survival one is creative keep it on zero spawn monsters self explain max players or much players message, message of the day this is what players will see when they have entered your server in the server list and they will see a little text underneath the, the name so let's call it testing or 24565 I recommend you host on there so now let's port forward go to your browser go to start search for cmd if you're on windows 7 if you're not you can type in search and search comment for cmd on windows xp now type epconfig it will list all these things here so e you will look for epv4 address so 192 dot one six eight dot one dot eighty two it's something like that all epv4 addresses begin with one nine two so just look at that and type it over in your browser I will be eighty two eighty two oh damn it I'm hosting a website right now so let's turn the website off So let's try again. There we go. So let's go to toolbox. Game and application sharing. It is for everyone. You you may have an other router or more than so. When you don't know how to do it, just go to Google and do a Google search of port forwarding. Here you get help of all kinds of modem wait for the ad to load close here you can search routers port forwarding dudes and here you just search your modem and they will help you so I will do it for mine I already have assigned it but let me show you how it uh, is looking these things are optional it, you don't even need them so TCP and UDP 25565 to 25565 translate to 25565 well, I'm, I'm getting confused but you know this I will I will say it in the description which ports and I will create a new one Minecraft lowercase just call it whatever you want server or something and I now enter the ports for you it this may look like this just select any or yeah or you have to do it two five five six five two five five six five two five five six five and add so now assign this to your modem or your local device and you will be all right but it may be yeah it, it's not the same for every one so now your port forward is ready you just have to find your local EP so and you can test it at the same time so just start it up oh wait no memory so if you, if you want to know your EP address you need to give to other players go to can you see me dot org I will say it in the description this is your EP this is what you want to give to other players things 
you will not see mine now I have created out so but here will your IP be standing so what port to 5565 and when your server is running let's exit some problems here let's access this so let's try to start it now see if it starts, yes it's starting wait for it to boot in up when it's done when you see done here you click check your port and if it says success your server is now ready to be used so I hope you liked this tutorial, please like, subscribe, maybe give some feedback and if you would like more tutorials post it in the comments or send me a PM and I will try to make a tutorial for you. So um, see you next time.